Hey guys, you ready back it again with another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a 5 volt regulator from a 9 volt battery. Um, so what you're going to need is this little uh, chip is a 7805. It's a 5 volt regulator. They also come in uh, 7806, 78012, or 7812, 7824, and uh, the last two digits um, is the output regulated voltage. They also come in um, 7905, 7906, 7912, and 7924. And what this does, it gives you a negative output voltage. I mean, I don't know what you're really going to use that for, but uh, they have them. Um, so what you're going to need, you're going to need a 9-volt battery. You're going to need a 9-volt connector bat uh, battery clip. Uh, you're going to need the 7805. Um, couple pieces of wire uh, capacitor. It doesn't really matter the size if it's like over um, like 20 or 30 microfarads because what it's just going to do is it's just going to smooth out um, when charging it's going to smooth out the line. Um, and you're also going to need a USB um, a USB head. So first what we're going to do and also to prototype it you're going to need a hold on let me move this stuff you're going to need a proto board. Now I have like shit all over this so I just have that right over there. So let me just zoom in. First you're going to take the 7805. Um, you're going to put it in. Come on. There we go. Um, and you have pin 1, 2, and 3. So let me grab the... Uh, I don't know, I'm moving in front of the camera here. It's... Alright, so first, what you're going to do is take pin 1, put a piece of wire in here. And what this is going to go to, this is going to go to the positive rail. Um, then your pin 2, in the middle, uh, take a black piece of wire, because that's going to be ground. We're going to run that over to the ground rail. Come on, get in there. Then what we're going to do is... We're going to take the uh, capacitor, and these are polarized, um, trying to see where the, I don't know if you can see that, let me try to, if you see the lines like that, um, that means that's the negative lead. So that one is going to go into pin 2, and the capacitor is going to go from pin 1. Come on, get in there. To pin 2 with the negative um, stripe going into pin 2. Alright, so then what we're going to do is we're going to take our USB. Um, what I did was I put uh, solder two wires on the ends because that's where the positive and negative are. And we're going to take the positive end of the USB. Come around on the other side now. And that's going to go into pin 3. And then the negative of that is going to go into ground. Okay. Then what we do is we're going to take our 9-volt um, battery clip. And what I did here was... Um, let it zoom in on me. Was I just soldered on some wire um, off a resistor just so it could um, go into the board better. So that's going to go into positive, and the black is going into negative. All right. Let me zoom out here just for a second and show you my voltmeter. Here in one second, my leads are tangled. Come on, motherfucker. All right. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to measure the voltage across the 9-volt battery. Positive and negative. Oops, sorry. There you go. So it's giving us about 9 volts. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug the negative terminal. Let me, I can zoom in. 
for you again. Alright, we're going to put the negative terminal across ground. And then we're going to take the positive terminal and go across um, pin 3 on that uh, regulator. And this will give us our output regulated voltage. And let me move my voltmeter over so you can see. Let's leave it there. Alright, that's not going to work. I'll just put it on the side over here. Alright, and then what we're going to do is we're going to plug in our 9 volt battery. And you see that our output voltage is 5 volts. It's 5.04, but uh, that's what we're getting at is the 5 volts out of a 9 volt battery. So this is like a more in-depth. So that you'd use this circuit um, if you were to charge like a uh, cell phone off a 9 volt battery, like to make a portable charger. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate it because I know I've seen other videos. Um, they show you how to do this, but then when you do it, it doesn't work. So I'm going to go a little bit more in depth. If I can find that other wire I made. There it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug in our USB. I mean, it might work with all phones like this. It might not. Um, I have the Droid 1. I just got rid of my iPhone 4S um, for this because I could sell it on eBay for $350. So why not, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to plug in this. As you can see, it does turn on. But when I zoom in right there, it's not charging. Um, and I was like, well, why not? Because if you think about it, there's the 5 volts coming in here. It is grounded, so there is 5 volts going to the phone. So why wouldn't it, um, why wouldn't it charge the phone? Uh, I asked myself that, so I, lo I was looking for some answers, just playing around with it. So what, what I did was um, on the USB... Let's see if I can zoom in some more. Getting, up, getting a little bit closer on this. So what I did was, I went right across with a wire. Oh, it accidentally shorted itself up. Cool. But what I did was, I put the wire from pin one where from 5 volts on the USB to the second pin. And what that did was that charged the phone. So I'm going to show you that in one second when my phone loads back up. Alright, so the phone loaded back up. As you can see, it is not charging from over here. So what I'm going to do is just put that jump 5 volts right over to the uh, to that second pin. And as you can see, it says charging now. So what I'm going to have to do with this by modifying it is either making a jumper that jumps from pin 1 to pin 2 or um, just running another pin, uh, another uh, wire down to the third pin of the, of the regulator. So I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions, just uh, leave them in the comment section below. And thank you for watching. Uh, maybe, maybe in the future I'll put this in a in a little case with the USB just sticking out. I might have a multiple USBs. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. Definitely. Uh, thanks for watching, guys.